Holy bullish. We might have just had the most bullish Twitter space in crypto history. Moncoin just had one of their first Twitter spaces today. It's currently going live. I just popped out of it, guys. 1.2 thousand people are in this Twitter space right now. There is a movement forming like we've never seen before with Moncoin. It reminds me, and I've been saying it a lot, it reminds me of the early Pepe. Now, I'm going to be going through all of the highlights in case you missed the Twitter space here and some milestones. So if you're part of the Mong Mob, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want more Mong content, and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts on what's going on with Mong. Like I said, we're going to be going through all of the updates here, but really the most important thing that we have to say is that there's going to be two major centralized exchanges that are going to be taking place this week. Two major centralized exchanges taking place this week as well as a Discord coming for Mong. I'll get through all of the updates in just a second, but I want to talk about the most important thing today. 15,000 holders, officially 15,000 holders for Mong in less than 12 days. I'm pretty sure this is faster than Pepe. 15,000 holders on the dot. This happened about 20 minutes ago. Let's see how much we have now. 15,021 holders. We're getting about two, one holder every minute. 1,000 plus holders a day. More than 1,000 holders a day. This is insane, guys. And the current price is at 175 million dollar market cap i think we pumped all the way up to a 220 plus million dollar market cap a little bit of a consolidation but this chart looks healthy this chart looks prime for takeoff and if you were in that twitter space earlier today that's going on it was one of the most bullish twitter spaces that you're going to hear in your entire life now there's a few other things that i want to chat about i have my notes right here for mong coin mong uh, we'll be launching a Pepe slash Mong pair. So if you have Pepe, there's a lot of Pepe whales out there. You can transfer and trade your Pepe for Mong. So you don't have to sell Pepe. You can transfer and trade your Pepe for Mong. They're also going to be adding Mong pairs to shit coins. Kind of how there is with Ethereum, right? You have Ethereum, you can buy a shit coin, you can buy a meme coin. Now you can transfer your Mong into these other meme coins, which means you don't actually have to sell your Mong if you're a Mong whale to purchase these meme coins. Very, very, very bullish news. Uh, one of the other things I want to talk about is the fact that they're going to be dropping coins. So the airdrops for the NFT holders will be coming soon. Crypto BitLord did mention that this will be based off of rarity, right? So if you own the most rare Mong coins, you're going to get more of an airdrop than if you hold a floor of Mong coins. But as you guys know, airdrops are coming soon. I own a few of the Mong NFTs. I'm bullish on the Mong NFTs, and I'm very, very bullish on the Mong coin, guys. This is insane news. We're expecting two more major centralized exchanges, and we've been seeing Mong trending all over Twitter, all over Dex Tools for the past week. This is a grassroots movement like we've never seen before. It really does give me early shit buys. It vibes. It really does give me early Pepe vibes. This token's 12 days old, already has 15,000 holders and pumped up to a $200 million mark cap. Is this thing going to reach the multi-billions? If you ask me, I would have to say yes, but there's just new news coming out. It's literally run by the, the biggest Chad in crypto space. And if you listen to this guy speak on the, the Twitter spaces, guys, his conviction for this project is insane. They've literally used zero of their marketing budget to fund this. And I can attest to that. I've never been paid to make a Hmong, uh content video tweet. I just like the project. I really enjoy the project and I think it has a lot of potential. So I'm making it. So they have a lot of marketing funds to be used. They're getting on multiple exchanges. They're doing everything right when it comes to the business sense. Pepe slash Mong pairs, Mong slash shitcoin pairs to allow people to use their Mong in better ways. And they're going together with other communities in a good way, right? Crypto BitLord saying, hey, Pepe is going to go. Mong's going to go. I love that. It's not us against them. It's a movement that's starting. It's a grassroots movement. And honestly, it's giving me some insane vibes. I hope that these videos turn out well, which I think they will. Mong is currently under $175 million market cap as of today. And I think this token has a lot of potential. So let me know your, your thoughts on Mong coin, guys. Grassroots movement, bullish Twitter space on a beautiful Sunday. And this thing looks like it's prime for takeoff. Like I said, subscribe to the channel if you're part of the Mong coin community. Let me know your thoughts on where you think this thing is going. And we'll see you on the next episode.